Shalom friends, we are once again on the Mount of Olives. It is a beautiful night here and I want to just give you a picture of what, what it looks like. Mount of Olives is such a significant site. So much of what Yeshua is life centered around the Mount of Olives. It's the place where Jerusalem, because he saw the destruction that was going to happen. It is the place that he spent so much time after he celebrated the last Seder with his Talmudim, with his disciples. He came to the Mount of Olives to pray with his disciples. It was from the Mount of Olives that Yeshua entered into Yerushalayim riding on a donkey. This is all where it came to take place. And it was from the Mount of Olives, Acts chapter one, that Yeshua ascended into heaven from this place. And it's so significant that he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey from this, this site because we call him Yeshua HaMashiach and this mountain, the Har HaZetim, gets its name from the olive trees that are found all around this mountain. You can see the olive trees uh, in the background here. And the, and the oil that came from these olive trees were often used, one of the primary uses was to make the, the Shem and the oil that was used in the Har Habayit, in the Beit HaMikdash, in the temple, for the Korbanot to accompany the sacrifices for the, for the meal offering and for the oil for the Menorah, for the seven-branched candelabra. So this is what you're seeing, and so the oil is the symbol of Mashiach, Messiah, because he was going to be the anointed one. So it makes sense that he spent so much time on the Mount of Olives because it symbolized the oil of Mashiach. The king was to be the anointed one and the divine empowerment that came from that. So when he came to pray, pray he came to the Mount So even Messiah rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, which is in Hebrew, a is Hamor, and it's symbolic of the concept of Homer. Uh, the word, same root for donkey is the word, word for physical world or for materialism. So Messiah riding in on the donkey was a symbol of him redeeming and transforming the material world. So we see that there is a process to to redemption, to Geula. And just like Abraham rode a donkey and Moses rode a donkey to Egypt. Abraham rode it when he went to offer his son Yitzchak Isaac on Mount Moriah. Moses put his wife and his children on the donkey when he went to redeem Israel out of Egypt. And Messiah comes riding into the don on the donkey into Jerusalem. Abraham could only put his possessions to worship on the donkey. Messiah, uh, Moses, could put his family on, but Messiah could actually ride on the donkey. Why? Because he was the one who could bridge heaven and earth and infuse the physical and the material and bring out the true spiritual purpose. There's a lot more we could say about that. But just think about that for a moment. And the question we have to ask ourselves as we head into Shabbat, six days we work on mastering the physical world, on creation, for providing for our physical needs. But the seventh day is a time to master our soul. And so the question is, the donkey is the sixth day of the week. Messiah is the seventh. The two coming together is the completion of the fullness of heaven and earth. But the question that we have to ask ourselves is, are you riding the donkey or is the donkey riding you? If you're having the donkey ride you, if all you can do is focus on the material and you can't even rest on the Shabbat, you're still a slave in Egypt. 
and you're the ass. <laughs> you're being ridden by the donkey. So we got to take time to focus and build the spirit. Also, it's significant that Messiah ascended to heaven from this place. The rabbis say that if Israel is worthy, the Messiah they're seven one like the son of man if they're not worthy then messiah will come as a pauper a poor person riding a poor person riding on a donkey and so messiah went into jerusalem to fulfill that part of the prophecy riding the donkey he came the first time as the lamb he ascended to heaven from this place and the clouds received him and we know that he's coming back to this same place, Acts chapter 1, and Zechariah 14 talks about when he comes back, Messiah will put his feet on the Mount of Olives and the whole mountain will split in half under the power of the Messiah. And you can see there's a lot of graves here, Jewish graves here built on the Mount of Olives because they're familiar with that Zechariah 14 passage and they want to be the first to rise from the dead. And so Messiah comes back to the Mount of Olives because Ezekiel saw the glory of God leaving from where the Dome of the Rock is today and depart over this mountain. And so the place where the glory left over this mountain, the glory of God, the kavod of God is going to return to Yerushalayim from this place. It is amazing to think we are standing in the footsteps of the Messiah. You're looking now at the area where the Garden of Gethsemane is located. That's where Yeshua prayed the night before uh, his, he died as the, as the Korban Pesach, as the Passover lamb. And so it's just wonderful. It's just a beautiful night to think about everything Messiah has done for us and the fact that he is literally going to come back and stand his feet upon this place and we're getting ready for shabbat here in jerusalem and you can just see the city wish you all here to join me but it is it is amazing it is amazing so just take a moment and take it in we're just going to take a moment and pray it says, Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim, the psalmist writes, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And so Abba, I just pray right now, Sim Shalom Tova Ubracha Chen Veches Rachamim, establish your peace, mercy, goodness, and kindness over this city right now. And may you bring Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. And I pray for all my friends who are, are watching this on Facebook, that God should bless you with Menucha. He should bless you with rest. He should bless, bless you with Koach. He should bless you with strength. He should bless you with Ruchnias, with spirituality. He should send a Refuah Shlema, a complete healing for whatever your needs are. He should send Rav Brachot, he should send abundant blessings from heaven in the name of Yeshua Meshachinu, in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah. So I wish all of you a big Shabbat Shalom and uh, look forward to sharing more with you from Eretz Yisrael, from the land of Israel. So we'll leave you with a little shot. It's a miracle. We're standing in a miracle right now. I see my brother, Pastor Tom, out there. What's up? I see my friend out there, Jamie, from Nashville. What's up? Wish you all were here with me, sending you much love. And uh, thinking about you, I'll offer up some tefillot, some prayers up for you. And there you go. There's a parting shot of the... The, the, the Temple Mount, that's where Abraham took Yitzhak, Isaac on that donkey, where the Dome of the Rock is today. That's where the Holy of Holies was established, the place where Abraham was offering of Isaac 
because it was always a place of sacrifice. And um, so I just bless you all right now. <laughs> it's amazing that I can be with you and we can be connected here. And I see my friend Tony Kim has joined us live. Hey Tony, want to give you and the family a shout out. Good to see you guys again. We're looking at the place. Okay, we're gonna we're, we're gonna be leaving. So anyway, yeah, Jamie, we could wrap on the mountain. We could do a Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. It's a very special day. Wanna say what's up from Yerushalayim on this day? I gotta go celebrate Shabbat. So it's draw in near. So I say Shabbat Shalom for all of you. All right, guys, love you guys. Blessings, blessings, blessings. One final look, one final look. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Much love.